Let's turn now to Billy from Trustful. Uh, Billy, appreciate you calling <coughs> in tonight. Uh, if you will, go right ahead with your question. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I was uh, I was in camp with June in 57, 58, and 59. Uh, my father and stepfather was a Marine stationed there during that period of time. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have a lot of skin cancers. Is, is skin cancer a qualifying illness uh, for this litigation? That's a good question. So... The available scientific data that we have right now doesn't really indicate that skin cancer is a causal factor from those toxic compounds. Now, when I say that, that doesn't mean that there is not a claim, okay? It may be that now that we're all learning about this, the scientific literature, meaning the data, the, the, the medical doctors out there studying this haven't had a chance to develop that part of, you know, of, of the injuries, meaning, um, you know, this is still pretty new to all of us. This is certainly new to Ken and I. And, you know, as, as we learn more and we learn more about what these compounds were, how much of the compounds were found in these water supplies. There may be a causal link to skin cancer. Um, So it's certainly something to kind of keep in your radar or go ahead and reach out to a law firm and say, hey, this is what I've got. Um, And sometimes, you know, the law firm will go ahead and say, listen, we're gonna kind of keep you on our radar if and when that medical literature does show that there's a link to it. So it's not a total preclusion, but it's certainly um, not in the immediate frame of causal factors that we're aware of at this point. But again, all they can say is no. Mm -hmm. So um, you can file a claim and there's no harm. There's nothing that's gonna happen to you. They're not gonna get mad at you. And if it turns out that the science develops over time, well, you filed your claim and then it can be uh, resolved at a later time. So uh, there's no harm in asking the questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's gonna be up to the government to say uh, no and close the door on you. 